Uh, then, well, you, you got the uh, the Wembley visit out of the way. I, I guess it's uh, it's one of those things that all clubs want to do before big matches. Yeah, I think most a lot of clubs have done it on the Friday before the game on the Sunday, but the gaffer found it better for us if we did it earlier on the week and got the lads familiarised with the surroundings and take it all on. It was, it was, it was good for us to do that, really. And, and Wembley, is that somewhere you, you've been as a, uh, a fan or player before? I've been the FA Cup final. Yeah. Um, Man City Stoke a few years back and sat basically in the top tier and looked down and thought, wow, what a place, you know. And standing on the pitch yesterday, looking around, you think you realise how big it is. But yeah, it's a fantastic stadium. Yeah. And, and is it the kind of thing that you do dream about or is, it, uh, is that kind of thing over-egged a little? I think everybody wants to play at Wembley, isn't it? And play on the biggest grounds they can and play wherever they can be. But the bottom line is it's, it's all about the pitch and about the game and, and winning the game, really. That's, that's the main focus. Yeah, and I'd imagine it's one of those where you just want that match to come as quickly as possible now. Yeah, I think it's been a long two weeks, obviously, the break. And you just want to get out there and, and see what happens, really. See, take the game as it comes. And I think you've got to try and enjoy the occasion. But at the same time, it's, it's about winning. I think you only really, really enjoy it if you if you won the game. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and that enjoying the occasion and not being overawed by it is something that you probably have a little bit more experience of as a, a club this season than the most in the conference. Yeah, I think every game this season we've been under an expectation of needing to win the game and I think we've done that more times than not. So, yeah, there's an expectation level with this club which is something you've got to thrive on. And there's going to be, well, I think 40,000 tickets sold already. It'll be 50 plus probably by the time it gets to a to match day I and mean, that's the kind of thing that some players go through an entire career without getting to do. Yeah, I think it's unbelievable really. I think they have 30, 40,000 gas heads here. It's going to be, it's going to be great for lads and to have that support behind us. It's, as you say, it's going to be something that you might never experience again or might never experience before. And, that's a fair play them for that. Yeah, and, and I guess that's that's it. it. It makes the occasion, doesn't it? And, and you want to make sure that there's nobody freezing out there. Yeah, I think, as I say, on the day, you never really know how people are going to react now. But as a group, we're going to go there and stick together and try and get ourselves through it and, 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 and get the positive result that we want. And, and given the form that you've been in, frankly, the entire well, second two-thirds of the season, you must be going in, not overconfident, but with a good degree of confidence. Yeah, I think you've got to be confident. I think we've had a good season and I think... Our two um, semi-final legs, I think we we really played really, really well and hopefully we're peaking at the right time and as I say, come, come Sunday, it's going to be a tight game. They've had a good season as well, but both teams have already won it and as I say, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, and you talk about tight games and there's only one goal between the other uh, two legs or the two games between you and, uh, and Grimsby. That, that would suggest it is going to be a, a, a game of few chances. Yeah, 100%. Say so First game of the season here, it was 0-0 and then we won 1-0 upper, which again was a, was a tight game, so we're not expecting anything else and with it being a final, no matter who you play, it's always going to be a tight game, really. Yeah, and it is those those nerves, isn't it? And who deals with them best, perhaps, and, and can show what they're capable of. Yeah, hundred percent. On the day, it's whoever turns up, really, or who gets up well luck, or maybe a bit of both, as I say. So nobody really knows what's going to happen, but we've got to prepare and and uh, go there and hopefully do the business. And, and obviously, in the summer, it was very much a case of, of right, let's try and get ourselves back in the league after what happened on this pitch a, a year or so ago. And it, it, obviously, the, the goal is to finish that journey. Yeah, as you say, a year ago this club was really at a low. Um, I think a, a core of us decided to stay and give it our best shot to get this club back where it should be. Um, it's been a season of more ups and downs, but there's been a few, few moments where you know, people maybe maybe doubted us a bit, but we stuck together and as I say, already the fans backed us during that time as well. And We'll go there, as I say, on the final day and try and jump bounce back at the first first chance really we've had. And, as I say, we'll, that's what we're aiming for. And, and that would mean a lot, I mean, obviously, to the, uh, the gas heads, but to, to, to the players that did stick around, to, to have been involved and been as down as you were last year, to, to kind of complete the circle would be a, a, a great way to end a season. Yeah, as I say, we're trying to, put the, trying to right the wrong, and as I say, it'll be a massive achievement that we do that, and that, that's been our aim all year. So, as I say, uh, as a group and as a coaching staff and as a club, everybody's pulling in the one direction, and hopefully we can finish that job off on Sunday.